I mean, government does, you know, that's where legislation gets made. That's where, that's where the rules right. governing the money happen. But so. the rub is Nashville, when I came out here, I was told Nashville is this blueberry in a bowl of salsa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't yeah. heard it said that way. Well, That's, like cute. That. That's cute. That's cute. Yeah, it works. <laughs> like, so I don't know. It clashes a little. I, 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 I was like, I, I wouldn't eat that at all. <laughs> but, you know, so Nashville, Davidson County decides to pass something that would be a benefit to everybody, particularly an economic measure. Well, the state can simply usurp it mm -hmm. and then create a law that prevents them from even treading down that path. Mm -hmm. yep, right. Yep. There's this power that the state has over Nashville, I would guess, say Knoxville and maybe Memphis as well, um, from preventing them from doing anything. So some people already enter into it with a defeatist attitude from what I've learned from mm -hmm. the conversations I've had yep. thus far. Mm -hmm. I ask people, do you think that Nashville could ever have a black mayor? And it's been weird based you know, Sunday afternoon calculations in my head, 85% are no. Yeah. There's a few people who think, and you know, I'm like, well, who? And they can't think of one. They're thinking, okay, it would have to be a really, really dynamic candidate to come in and to win the mayorship of Nashville. And I think, yeah, that's just what I was thinking about people, generally speaking, you, you're talking about people moving here from Southern California and thinking, well, it's a progressive city. It's also the seat of the state government where we have a, a Republican supermajority. Mm -hmm. They don't even need Democrats to show up to have a quorum. Mm -hmm. The Republicans can show up and pass laws without a Democrat even being there. Yeah. And, you know, they do create um, laws that just sort of directly oppose uh, decisions Nashville and Shelby County, Memphis have made about things like community oversight boards. And all of a sudden they're me meddling in city government. And, um, and, you know, even though we think of ourselves as a progressive city, um, generally speaking, you're right. There hasn't been there haven't been black voices in city government. There, we haven't had we had our first woman mayor six years ago. She was mm -hmm. elected, and it's just been you know. And sure, it's they're Democrats and they're white men, um, but there really isn't a seat at the table in Nashville. And then if you look at you know we're in the South, we're mm -hmm. in a state that mm -hmm. passes some of the <clears throat> most. Um, conservative would be putting it conservatively, uh, some of the most <laughs> retrograde um, legislation in the country. We're mm -hmm. at the forefront of it constantly. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so I think people move here and they think, well, I'm kind of moving to the LA of the South or something. And then they sort of recognize pretty quickly that there are anti-mass demonstrations in downtown Nashville at the Capitol. There are people coming after the rights of transgender youths in this state, mm -hmm. uh, the rights of women. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's, there's definitely been the push and pull between the conservative state and uh, the, the somewhat progressive city. This is again where I come in with the historical and I'm like, there's always been a Democrat mayor here. Always, always, always. If you think about the ugliest periods in the city's history, there was a Democrat mm -hmm. in the mayor's office deciding how, okay, well, it's time to desegregate schools. Okay, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not so fast. How about <laughs> yeah. one grade at a time yeah. will be done by 1968. Like these are these are blue people, right? This mm -hmm. this is the blueberry and the salsa. So mm -hmm. this is again part of that branding where mm -hmm. we get to say Nashville is progressive compared to what? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Compared to what? Compared this to is the rest of the state. Yeah. Th I mean, Not this enough. is <laughs> yeah, yeah, what yeah, what yeah, we yeah. see <laughs> is how it has always been here, and to the point about black people being disconnected from the process. You get a couple generations into this thing, and mm -hmm. your mama know better, and your grandmama know better. Why are we showing up? Because yeah. even in blue people that talk all that stuff during the campaign ain't really checking for us. We already know that. There's so much more to explore, and we want you to join us on The Good Road. For more in-depth content, meet us on the internet at thegoodroad.tv. Hear more great stories, connect to organizations, and make sure you download our podcast, Philanthropology.